What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to root 5.1.1, the latest over-the-air update for your Galaxy S6. Now this is going to work on any variant minus the Verizon variant, and I think it doesn't work for, actually no, the Verizon variant may be the only variant that this does not work for. A list of all the supported devices are in the description below, and that's going to include the standard S6 and also the S6 Edge. Now this root method is for Lollipop 5.1.1 only, and it should work for OF6 or the OF8 update. The method is super simple, super easy. This video is going to be brief. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, real quickly, just so you guys can see what we're working with here, we're going to settings. We'll go to about device and you see that I am on the T-Mobile variant of the S6. I'm running 5.1.1 and my version is OS 6. Now I tried to accept this update over the air and because I was rooted uh, with custom recovery installed, I was not able to accept that over the air update. It gave me a message saying that I had custom software. I'd need to take this phone to the store, but you can actually just Odin the update. So you can just flash the update file in Odin. I'll be sure to include a link in the description for this 5.1.1 update. Once you've installed the update, all you have to do is install the unified kernel. Okay, so you'll head to the link in the description. It'll bring you to this page on XDA. You're looking for the Unibase Unikernel. And this is good for all variants, minus like the Verizon variants. So the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge, FISK, LT, and W8 variants, and it's for Lollipop 5.1.1 only, like we discussed earlier. So you'll just scroll down here and grab either the Team Win Recovery flashable file or the Odin flashable file. If you're familiar with flashing things in Team Win Recovery Project, or if you already have a custom recovery installed, then you don't need me to show you how to do this. But if you're on the stock over the year update and you just want to get root, uh, I'll show you real quickly how to flash this in Odin. So go ahead and download that file. Okay, so on your phone, you need to go ahead and power it down. Okay, when it's fully powered down, we're going to boot into download mode by holding volume down, home, and power. Okay, and from here, we're just going to hit volume up. It's going to put us in the download mode, and then we're just going to plug in our USB cable and set the phone to the side. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is open up Odin 3.10.6, and I'll include a link in the description for that. Also, that file uh, that you downloaded... It will be in the proper form, but if you're needing to Odin back to 5.1.1 or if you're needing to Odin the update, that one is in MD5 form. You'll need to remove MD5 from the name. For the Unikernel, it is in the correct format. You don't have to change anything. So you'll see your device listed here. Click on AP. Okay, we're just looking for the S6 Unibase COF8 file. We'll go ahead and open that. And then click Start. Now this is going to take just a few seconds and then it will automatically reboot your device. Okay, and you'll see a little message up top saying the kernel is not SC Android enforcing. Basically, it's just saying that you have a custom kernel, you don't have the stock kernel. So as soon as this loads up, I'll show you guys that we are indeed rooted. Okay, so you'll head to the apps folder here and you'll see that we do have Super SU. Uh, we'll go ahead and try root checker and see if we're rooted. And there is the super user request. That means we are indeed rooted. So we'll go ahead and grant super user permission. It says congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. So that is the simple, quick and easy method for rooting the Galaxy S6. That's for all variants minus Verizon, of course. Hopefully there will be a root method for the latest over the air update on Verizon soon because so far my Galaxy S6 Edge is without root. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.